Hello there. I am back with day 28 of the coloring series. And so tonight we're looking at the mister, like from last night, and his missus. And they've been putting some presents together and they brought some ornaments out and they got to decorate the tree out here some kind of way. The birds are watching and here we go. We're getting ready to, you know, get something going out here in the winter wonderland type of thing. Okay. Let's start with this red. How y'all doing on this Saturday? How y'all doing on this Saturday? Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody's decorating a tree. Just two more weeks left. And it's going to be time to say Merry Christmas. Maybe somebody is decorating. Maybe somebody's out shopping. They won't see this until later. Maybe somebody's watching me right now. Whatever you're doing on this Saturday, I hope that you're having good fun and relaxing. And if you happen to be in a place where you had to work today or got to work tonight, okay, just, you know, go in peace and be all right with it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right. So the snowman is holding this ornament on his hand. Why did we put purple? Because we weren't paying attention. That's why we got purple right there. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure. Uh-oh. Does this run out? Has this run out? I don't think so. No, it's plenty in here. It's just acting like I don't even use purple that frequently. It is. It's acting like it was gone. Okay. And it's really okay like this anyway because um, this is going to be outside. And outside needs to be bright and colorful and beautiful. And so it's good. Alright, let's just put some red in here. And we keep it all in unison, okay? Everything will be all right. And we'll keep that part white. All right? And then let's go over here and do these bulbs. Or, no, let's start at the top like we usually do. Because we don't want to be rubbing in it. All right, we're just going to put some pretty colors in our birds. So they can be bright. All right. And I gotta be reaching over. I should have my pens closer, right? I should, but they're not. Cause there's too many of them to be all around where I'm working at. It's too many, too many, too many. And we won't put any in that black. Black. Okay. And put some black up in here. So this why I don't use this kind of black because you see how it makes it, makes it like it's, you know, messy because it's gel and it's wet. You got to leave some kind of understanding that it's a bird. But this is what we got. We got to just work with it, you know. We just got to work with it a little bit. 
It's going to be fine. Y'all know what I always tell myself. It's just a coloring page. Just calm down. Relax. It's all right. It's just a coloring page. Okay? Then we'll add a little bit down here. And on his feet. And put a few streaks all up in his feathers a little bit. Okay? That's what we'll do. He's not looking so good. But it is a bird. And that's how birds look. All kinds of colors. I'm going to get some red and put up here on him. And under here. Yeah. Alright. There's nowhere to really put no red on here. I should put it around his eye a little bit. That's it. Alright, this is what we're dealing with for that. Now let us find brown so we can find the same thing first. Let's get brown so we can um, we can get two different shades of brown so we can do this bird house. So today I've been working on my first, my very first junk journaling pockets. That's what I've been working on. I had all of these things pulled out for about a month now. This is the wrong shade. Um, and I was like, today as I was really sorting through, I was saying, you could have been finished this stuff. You waited all this time. But it's because I was still learning things and I wasn't real comfortable in my um in my thought of girl you got this, you can do this. I wasn't real comfortable there, you know. But what you have to remember is what Pam at the paper outpost says and she says, No rules, no rules. This is yours, your work. And you can make it how you want. And if you make a mistake, you can cover it up. Or you can do something else to make it pretty anyway. <clears throat> and so, I love that. I love that. And so, I've been working on that idea the whole entire day since I came down here this morning. It took all day. It wasn't a joke. It took all day. I'm going to use the same purple for their ribbon up here. It took the whole day. And I haven't even put them together, put them together. But what I was doing was um, putting them kind of in sequence for the items that I want to embellish, as they say, with. And so that took a little minute. Because I had to figure out what those items will be. Put some stuff back because I had way too much for the um, pocket that I made. I know somebody might not know what I'm talking about. But somebody does. And um, I just had to say, well, um, you can't use everything. What works, works. And what doesn't work, doesn't work. And so... That's where I was with it. I had to go ahead. I see this on her arm. And so I was like, oh, that's too cute. Let's just go ahead and do something with that. And so um, I had way too much. But I've been putting that stuff in divine order, if you will, so that I know what I'm going to be using exactly and being ready to... Um, you know, get ready to start assembling. Because I still don't really know, you know. 
I don't really know. I be looking at other people's work saying, Day, they so good. That's so good. How you get that like that? You know? And it's probably because they either have watched enough people do it or trial and error. Or maybe they're gifted for it. Everybody don't have the same gifts, though. So, like I've been working on, that's so cute. I've been working on coloring these Santa Clauses every day. And yesterday I decided to make my uh, Santa number eight. I decided to make him a black Santa. And um, he didn't come out so good to me. I mean, he looks okay. But that's all he looks is okay. So I thought about it. I said maybe I must strip him and do him over. But I didn't do it yet because I was still thinking about it. Like, it's fine for right now because I got a whole lot going on. And, I mean, I got a whole lot going on. Trying to get all my stuff done is a lot. And um, I don't have that long to get it done. So, I have to, uh, you know, kind of weigh my options in terms of whether or not I'm going to um, pause and, and do something. Because I don't know yet. Do we want all the trees to be, I'm going to make a silver tree, a green tree, and... A silver tree, a green tree, and let's keep a white one. Or maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think how I'm going to do that. Let me see. Let's put some little circles. I keep on trying to write with these caps on to make a few more bulbs. Because y'all know that I always add some. But. Yep, I was saying that while I was looking at those whole journaling things, it's like I didn't have as much confidence as I thought I should, I guess. And it's like, why should you? You've never done it before, so why should you have all this confidence? It's just something that you have come to learn a little bit about, and you love it. So, I mean... You don't have to have too much confidence at this point. It's fine. So that's where I'm at. I'm just trying to get the things out and situated so that I know what things I am using. That's what I want to keep up with. What am I using? All right, so... This is the trunk, the trunk, and the trunk. Let's go in and color those. Uh, do we want to use, we'll use this dark brown? Just don't fill it all the way in so that we can understand. Okay. Let's color her bell right here red on her hat. And maybe Mrs. Claus is going to have purple also because, you know, she just, let's make her bow just like that bow. And then, you know, we tie the page together like that. Okay? Because I sure didn't mean to put that purple with that green like that. But that's how it turned out. So, it's okay. The snowmen are usually blue, you know. And I made a snow lady before for my windows with the um with the snowman and I did penguins with them. And so I had some purple, I had some blue, and I had some blue and whites. That's what I did. And it was really pretty. Because purple is good for storms and stuff like that. 
and she looks cute and that's in her hat and it's in her his little dangly that he's gonna hang somewhere okay okay all right and now okay do we want to keep her all in this or do we want to give her a red bow maybe we'll put her in let me see I'm not sure yet. I want some yellow. I think I want some yellow for her. And some. Let me get that yellow. And yellow. And we'll still use green and purple. And maybe some blue too. Right. Okay. Let's go with our trees now. We're going to do a silver tree. A green tree. Alright. And I ain't sure. Maybe we'll leave that one white up there. And make this one down here green. Y'all see I remember to put the bulbs, the extra bulbs on before I colored it this time. Because I was looking at them and thinking about it. And it was blank. And I was like, oh, okay. They don't have no bulbs in here. So I call them bulbs because they got them in here. But when they out here floating around, they look like, I guess, the snow at that point. Okay. So, we add some extra bows to the tree. Um, extra bulbs, not bows. Extra bulbs. And let the tree be beautiful, okay? Alright, so now, let's see. Make sure we don't get her hat. Because this is all tree. Alright, I just want to be clear about where we at with it. That's the background. Of the tree. All right. Bobby then colored part of her hat green, thinking it was the tree, because that's what is all together. But the thing is up here, so this is actually can be green. Okay. There we go. We got that. Now her hat will be her hat will be blue. This is a pretty blue. No. The one is look like it's turquoise almost. Not this either. Yep, that's the one. Alright, so we'll leave all around there white. This is very pretty. Then I think we'll make all of her little bubbles or, you know, circles or whatever we're going to call them. On her hat, I'll make them purple. So I'm going to make them purple. Make her little bow. Because she's a lady. Okay. And then... I'm going to make this one blue because it's on there. And I'll make this all purple like this. And leave the white fuzzy white. But she got a red bell because it's Christmas. Okay? It's Christmas time. All right, what's this right here? This is a a piece of a what you call like a like a ring or something to be holding the bell on. Let's use silver for that. Okay, and leave that middle piece white. All right, she looks cute. Okay, now we're gonna leave this tree is going to be silver. These bulbs will all be white, and this one will be a silver tree. Oh, that's too dark. No, no, no. I don't want that. It's too dark. Okay. Nice recovery. It's in there a little bit, but you can't tell that much. Oh, wait a minute. We need another. Hold on. We need another bulb. 
Look at all the stuff in my hand. This hobby. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see where to add another ball back. All right. Let's put one right here. That might. Let's put one right here. It's okay. It's all right. It still look like it need one behind Frosty's hat, but we'll just try and keep going. Nice silver one. And what color bulbs do we want to give this one? Maybe red or red or red. And then we might make two silver trees. Might make two silver ones. I said I was going to make one white. This one kind of looks like white. But we're going to make this one silver with red. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the color of this part. I told y'all sometimes when I be coloring, it all looks the same to me. My eyes start crossing up looking at all of these things together sometimes. That's why I don't do the real busy ones because it all be jammed up. And when I do it, I have to take a break from it. All right, that's pretty now. We can just leave this one back here white and just make all colors on it. All colors. Not that you can see a whole lot of them because they're all behind Frosty. They're all behind him. But we can see it. I need an orange. And we need that purple. Good. And then we just lead it like that. That's it. That's it for the trees. See? And it's different because they like they out in the forest, right? In a woodsy area where the snow is and all the trees can be different colors and pretty like that all right and so now we are back to frosty yesterday we colored his hat um what color was it his hat was black and green and red black and green and red all right let's try and he don't have to have on the same hat he didn't have the same hat on yesterday he had on a different kind of hat. So, you know, it don't have these same things in there, okay? Nobody's keeping up with this besides me. I mean, somebody might be watching, and I'm thankful. But um, I'm the only one keeping up with this. At the end of my series, I'll probably do a whole flip-through video of every page. Somebody might want to watch all of them because they didn't see, you know, all of them because they didn't want to watch it. It was too long. And they might just watch all of the flip through. The flip through, baby. Okay? All right. Now, let's turn this this way a little bit. And we come across these lines.
I be coloring and just recording and coloring, recording and coloring. And my mind be saying, nobody's watching you. That's what my mind be saying to me. And I be saying, it's fine. Because it'll find whoever needs to watch it. If they want to watch it, they'll find it. I don't mind putting the free content up here on YouTube. I don't mind. I don't mind. Because I enjoy what I'm doing. And when you enjoy what you're doing, then that's what that is. You just do what you enjoy. And let your people find you. And maybe when I... um. When I get a video editor going at the front of the year, um, then it may, you know, do better. Because people want music and they want speed up and all of that. I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of speeding up. I might do music, but there won't be a whole bunch of speeding up. I mean, you can do some, but... Sometimes, you know, life has moved in such a way where um, nobody don't have time. Just People just don't want... It takes time for me to color this. But you want me to do it instead... Not you. I'm just saying. People want it done in... Okay, if it took you 53 minutes to color it, you should be able to upload it and speed it up so that it's only a six-minute video. Because they don't have an hour. But before speeding up came into play, everybody had the time they had. But you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at nobody. I don't want black. I ain't mad at nobody. I'm, I'm just like, okay. You know? When we looking at these people painting, and it's all beautiful, or they doing lettering and all of that, it takes them longer than... 60 seconds to do this stuff while we on these shorts but when we have given you know the world permission to speed life up for us we don't have no time to sit down we don't it's not that we don't have the time we don't have the patience and i know because i'm i'm be right there sometimes i'll be looking at stuff and i'll be saying oh i don't have no time for this because this is too long right and that's because my interest is not there. But if I'm interested, then I'm focused on it. And that's what that is. Because when I'm watching the Word of God videos, I watch that thing from the beginning to the end. I don't care how long it is. Some of them be a, about an hour and 13 minutes or an hour and 34 minutes or something like that. Some be 56 minutes. When I watch these junk journaling videos, and they be an hour, I watch every detail. And I don't like when they speed it up. Because I want to watch what you're doing and how you did it. Right. So, that's how I be. I be like, oh, okay. With a corn cob pipe and a button nose. Do you want... I might give you a different color nose. She says she want orange nose. Okay. Okay, you can have orange. I was going to give you a different color. She said, no. And his is just as long. It just looks short because he's facing forward. There's no way to put it out like that. It won't even look right. So you can't do that, okay? Now, let's give his broomstick orange handle because it's bright. And then we'll give him... Uh, yellow and brown for his corn broom. Anybody know what a corn broom is? Somebody don't know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. Corn broom. Okay? That's what this is. That's how brooms used to be. Corn broom. This plastic stuff. Mm -mm. Corn broom. Okay. All right. Let's get. Where's that black? Put 
this around here a little bit. Okay, now let's see what color we want Frosty Scarf to be. How about we give him a scarf that is, because he can change his scarf if he feel like it, okay? All right, we'll give him a purple one. It'd be purple. He want to match his wife. They're going on the outside, okay? We'll give him some purple. Right. He don't just wear one scarf. He has several scarves, okay? All right. And then, we just go in here, and everything's all right. Okay. And then, let's see how we going to do this one. Put this in the middle, and these, and this, and these, <laughs> and that. Okay. Then, let's give him whatever color with that. Purple and, purple and gray. Let's get silver. Do we want silver? Purple and silver? Okay. Let's try it. We don't like silver too much on there. So, we won't put too much in there. But, it's okay. It's too light. And, my other one is... It's um, too dark. It's going to make it look like it's black. So we just put a little bit in here. Alright. And now he need another color that's going to make it pop a little bit. Okay. Brown. Okay. Let's go brown. Brown will work. Brown, brown can work. He can have brown. Okay. Brown and purple and silver. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let's go across here. All right. And across here and across here that's not too bad that's not too bad mr. frosty that's not too bad and now we'll make all of his uh, tassels they can be brown and purple brown and purple okay all right. Okay. And then he got. Okay. So for her, let's finish her arm in here. And let's make her. her husband's scarf okay and put it in here to match her little blazer sweater okay and let's put a little bit on her sleeves okay and then we can give her some yellow up in here okay and then let's put yellow on her sleeve ok 
Okay, and then we'll put this. Uh, let's put all this yellow and put all of this part yellow. Because now they need to be bright. Okay, and let's give her some. Uh, what color we want her whole jacket to be? Um, I was thinking about red. That's what I was thinking about. But maybe we'll make her silver. And she can match Mr. with his scarf. I was going to use red. But I'll put the red around these things here. Because it's Christmas time. <laughs> Every time I be saying, because it's Christmas time. Right. So what we doing this Christmas time. All right. And she can match her mister. She got him purple and yellow and silver. And he got purple, silver, and brown in his scarf. So, there you go. They're going on now and decorate the tree. She done wrapped these presents. They got to put these up under the tree outside, okay? All right. Because they don't live indoors, all right? They've been off to the side while the little child is somewhere playing in the snow, okay? Hanging out with her frosty friends, okay? And, and mom and dad has come together with wrapping these gifts and it's time to place them under the tree okay now she needs some buttons and her buttons gonna be black but first of all oh this is brown why that looks like red to me i don't know why they look like red to me this is red very nice i like it and she needs some black on her belly for her coal buttons. She has made out of coal and then her buttons is like coal also. It's like I gotta have something in my hand. I don't know why I always be holding a pen, a pen top or something. I don't know why. But okay, she needs these like that. And you can't see his because his is, you know, I can see one right here, but, you know, it's behind her. So we just put one right there. And he's got on a jacket, and his jacket, do we want to put red around here? No, we don't. We'll leave it white. Okay, let's leave it white. Now, his jacket can be what color? Blue. Blue. Do we want to make his jacket blue? No. How about we make it black? I'm going to put some more black in his hat, though. Because it's kind of dried up and looking like it's gray. All right, let's get my black jacket. Ooh, I went outside the line. But somebody somewhere along said color outside the line. So we don't see that as a mistake. Because somebody said color outside the line. <laughs> I don't know where they got that from, but you know. Might go with the kids in the sense where they say, you know, all children can color like that. So, it's okay to color outside the line. So, maybe it is. Alright, that looks like his jacket closure here. But it also looks like suspenders in a way. So, his hand is there. So, his other hand is behind her head. Maybe in a hug. Okay? And we can't see it all the way. So, we gotta go this way with the jacket 
because that's where the arm is. Okay, and then this one. Okay, now we'll leave his, we ain't leaving his, his going to be blue or it's going to be red. Now, let's see. Let's go with red. Red is winning. Red is winning. You don't have to have a lot of it, but you got to have something. Okay, he got to have something. It's not going to be white. Hers can be white. And then let's put some red on here. On his lapel. Okay. All right. And now, the Miss and the Mrs. is done. And these are snowflakes. So we can't, let me get my light blue pencil. We can make them a little bit light. Just a little bit. And because that's what that is on them snow. Okay. And we'll make these a little bit darker so that we know that they are snow falling. We're not adding any snow. Okay, and the ones that are down here, all right, okay, she got a little bit on here. Now, does she need a little color on her cheeks? Sure, sure she need a little color. Yes, just a little bit, sure. First, he can have a little bit of color on his cheeks, too. But let's use red for him. Let's find a dark red, like a burgundy. A burgundy red? Do I have one? Yes. Up here. Okay. All right. And then, I might give her a little bit more, just so her stand out. A little bright okay now they look good they look good all right now I'm gonna color the backdrop color the backdrop Okay. I'm going to add a little teeny bit of color to these. Just a little bit because it's snow, even though it's white. All right. All right. Okay. And then All right, we got to color these gifts, okay? Let's make this red bow.
Okay, now let's see. Do we want we're gonna put this on here? It took a long time to use this ink. Those other pens, the ink run out so fast. It just rolls straight out. And it glides across the paper. But this, oh yeah, this almost like ballpoint, ballpoint pen, but it's gel ink though. If you rub it, it'll definitely be on your hand. It took a long time to use it. And that's how these green ones are. Christmas is so beautiful. I love Christmas time. It's so beautiful. I love Christmas. I do. It's beautiful whether you have money or you don't. I mean, everybody want to exchange gifts, I imagine. But um, when you ain't got the money, you ain't got the money. In this period, if you can, you know, put a tree up and put the lights on and eat some good food and listen to Christmas music and get together with your family, that's all you need. That's all you need. Christmas is a beautiful thing. I love Jesus and I love Christmas. The song said it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it is the absolute truth. I'm not sure what, what's happening here, but we're going to do it. Yes. That's pretty. And then we're going to make this one. This is gold. Right here. All gold. Sometimes when the gifts are like this, it means that the person gets both boxes. They set a small box on top. People don't even be wrapping gifts like that no more. Everything goes into a gift bag. Because nobody want to take time to wrap a gift. Put it in a box and tape it down and put the paper on it. They're like, oh, you're going too far. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're going too far. But that's not that's not true. This is what makes it so pretty. You put all of these packages up underneath the tree. Shucks. Some people are truly traditional. And they do all of this and go through all of these things like this. And they just say, happy holiday. They just say happy holiday. They don't say Merry Christmas. At least not in, pl not in public. They be like happy holiday. You did all of this at Christmas time and had to have all these gifts and spent all this money to exchange with all of your family and friends only to not acknowledge Christ in the birthday season. I'm just saying, I don't really know, but to each his own. I mean, that just fell out of my mouth and I ain't mad about it because I'm not offending anybody. I'm having a conversation and that's what's wrong with the world. The world won't let people be people. And that's just what that is. 
That's just what that is. The world won't let people be people. You can say whatever you want to say. They say, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And that's not true. Words hurt. They do. And you have to be careful with what you say. And I haven't offended anybody. I have not named a group of people. I have not named a person individually. I just made a general statement that people, you know, go through all of the rigmarole and going out, maxing out their credit card or spending down their savings, you know, even if the savings was what they planned to spend, you saved it to spend it at Christmas time to exchange gifts with your family and friends only to not accept or not accept or acknowledge Christ. Every holiday can have a name and every religion can have a name. But naming Christ is all offensive to so many people in the world and it's just crazy. And you would have to think in your right mind, why is that that way? Why? And it's because... What's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. And people in the business of what I say is right is right, and what I say is wrong is wrong. And that's where it comes from. People's own perceptions and ideas. But, whatever. You know, people are people. People going to be who they are. And you got to believe them when you see what you see. When you hear what you hear. You got to believe it. This one. Let's give this some purple. Because the snow people have this purple. So we're going to make sure that we, you know, keep it kind of tied together like that too. All right, let's make all of the dots on the paper match the ribbon. All the circles match the ribbon. And then I think I'll use the dark purple that I did the mister with. <coughs> This is not so bright like the Mrs. Okay. And then, then, some kind of little, little fly bug. I see you. Don't try that. Something like a little teeny net or something. This looked like a baby package. Looked like for a baby. It's okay though. No. I'm tying it all together. Right here, right now. Okay. And we're going to use some silver. And we're going to use some silver and gold over here. Okay, and where's the gold? Where is the gold? I don't, there it is. It's like I don't have it. I don't know where I put it. Okay, oh, I forgot a piece of purple. 
forgot a piece. There you go. That don't look bad. That looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. We're going to add some blue to our snow like we always do and outline our snow people the Mrs. and her husband and not with this one we need the bright one just so we can say that we see y'all in the snow okay we will never add it to their face, just to their first two circles. Okay. Just so we can identify them. Be okay. That's how I do it. Okay. And I think that's done. I think that's done. That looks pretty good. The birds, I understand, a little bright, bright orange, but it's okay. They worked out too. So, this is our page for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, put this together. Let me understand what's happening right here. This is Frosty. That's probably part of his jacket. Let's, yeah, because I'm looking in the ring of, you know, her little heart. And it's like, maybe we should add some of this in here to fill that in because it's right in front of Frosty. And let's get the red. Where's the red? And come on down here a little bit. Y'all see where I'm at with it? Yeah. Maybe somebody saw that. And maybe that's how I picked up on it. Telepathy, honey. And somebody was like, you know what? You should put something right there. And it's like, you're right, I should. And so I did. And now his jacket is in view of the little opening for their heart that they're going to hang. Maybe that's going to be their tree topper. Who knows? Okay. So we got all of that together. They look pretty decent. Pretty decent, pretty decent. So she's got white around here with yellow and white and yellow up there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, she got her regular mama hat on though. Because that's what she wear all the time. But this is a special occasion. So they got their little clothes out and everything. So they can come on outdoors and do what they're doing. Okay, and this is red and purple and white. Red and purple and white. Okay, so I didn't leave that undone, just like the white Christmas tree. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me tomorrow night, and we will be on day 29. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and that you'll hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my long videos, okay? All of them are good, but they're long, all right? But... Here we are right here together. And if you want to hang out, I want you to. And I hope you'll think about it and subscribe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.